This is APU time, the first project management software I have seen utilizing AI to plan projects. They have a lot of modules and the AI is by far the most interesting, but can it help me plan projects faster? Let's dive in and find out. The project management software industry is extremely saturated. We have so many tools which are taking the majority of the people and then we have small tools popping up here and there. And we have tools like Monday.com, Trello, Reich, and so many more big players in this market who has built huge systems. But there are still small niches where they can be helped with the product. A lot of individuals, they're missing products and also teams with some extra features. And I think this is where APU time is quite interesting because they have built the AI module and their AI module is what really makes them stand out for the rest. Of course, if the rest add the AI module, then of course they're back to square one and they need to develop something new or they need to target into a group because we can easily have two products that are almost similar, but if they're targeting different target groups, then they have each of their use case. But the AI template creator is by far the most interesting module. So let's start with that. With the AI template creator, I tried multiple different projects and I entered, for instance, a WordPress website. And what you get is a long list of the majority tasks. So you don't get specific tasks, but you get them in groups of what you need to do in order to solve this project that you're trying to solve. And I got some mixed results, especially with the WordPress website. I got a lot of the right modules, but some were in the wrong order. And other times when I tried different projects, then again, I got some of the right elements, but in the wrong order. So it seems that the order is the most difficult to fix and the elements they can often find and show you. And this is built on AI. And what I think could be very interesting with this module was to add training to it. So when I go in and I say, I want to build a WordPress website, then of course I get the list in the order. But then I go in and make changes. I say that this task is not necessary. This task needs to be swapped with this task. And the more people who does this and the more similarities that this AI algorithm can find in the changes, the smarter the AI algorithm will become. So this could be one very interesting thing to see in the future of this specific module. Because with this specific module, let's say that I got a quote that I needed to build a WordPress website. Instead of me going in and building each of these quotes individually, or I have some templates in my notes somewhere, then I will just go into APU time, into WordPress website, and then get the entire project out. And sometimes even with estimates. So this is something that will really save time. And you can very fast give an estimate because you just take the hours in the project and then you time it up with your hourly rate. And then you know approximately what the project will cost. Of course, each project is individual and there are always edge cases, such as if it's an e-commerce website, if it's a blog, if it's a news magazine website or something forth. It really depends on all of these edge cases. And I think the more data and the more we use this module, the smarter it will become in the end. Next up is the project management module overall, because this module I think is the most important module and it's lacking a little bit. It has a lot of the information that we need, such as fields, comments, files, activity stream, but you get so much information in one view that it's just overwhelming. You don't know where to look. You don't know what is buttons, what is text. And often I just found it confusing to figure out how to change small things. For instance, I wanted to change the deadline on a specific task, but I couldn't find any save changes button and it didn't save by itself. I tried to refresh. So it's great that all of the information is there, but they need to work on what information to show, how they show it, and then differentiate a bit between buttons, filters, text information, what we can change and how we can change it because there is a lot going on, especially in this specific module. But one interesting thing that also goes from when we were building this AI template over to the project management is this process. And the process is basically, as I see it, a prioritized way of seeing the tasks. So first we set up a server, then we install WordPress on the server, then we buy a domain, then we set up the domain, 
and so forth for that specific project I used as an example. And this process is also attached to the project, both so we can see how far are we visually, but we can also see what task comes next. And it's these small things that makes this red thread through the entire system. All the different modules need to work together and that's what we get here. It's just an information overload they need to work on. But we do also have two minor modules within the project management module. And the first one is my schedule. And that's just a brief Kanban overview of the task that has been assigned to me in a prioritized order where I need to, of course, work through them. And I can track my time so we can hold it up against the estimated time. But the other one is a little bit more interesting and that's the workload module. This one can tell you how much do you work during the next couple of days in order to figure out can you take in more tasks and this one for me is a little bit broken because I see duplicate days and often I see a graph just going up and down from one day to another so this one really needs to be aligned and it needs to be explained better because it's super confusing as it is right now figuring out how exactly does it work where is my workload as it says plus 90 percent and where can I squeeze in more because what this workload allows me, this workload module, is to figure out how many tasks can I take more into my workload because I already have this bunch of tasks. And here they have a lot of small features that make this easier. For instance, they have a postpone feature where I can postpone some of my older tasks. I can use some of the changes when I change the deadline or the estimation. And it's all of these small tools and small modules that makes it so much easier to use. And then in theory, as a worker, I don't have to report to my manager all the time. They can just go into APU time and see how it's going. The last module is the AI Gantt chart. And I think this is quite interesting because for some, this might be a duplicate of the workload. At least that's how I feel but it's much more visual appealing. It's much easier for me to read and understand how my workload is the next couple of weeks. But what I'm missing here, and that is what workload module is supposed to give me, is the amount of hours or the percentage of workload I have on specific days. Because here I can just see it from today and then dates into the future. I want to dive in and be able to see it on every specific day so I know what I need to do and where I can put in more tasks because that's what it's all about. So I think it would be very interesting if maybe they could combine all of these modules, the workload module, the AI Gantt chart module, and some of the modules that are supporting this make one big module, because it would also be interesting to have one overview of all the tasks which are overdue, or when they can see in the system that I will not be able to finish this task because I have another task over here that I may be prioritized higher, then they will tell me that I need to postpone this one, change the deadline, and then focus on this task over here. One big module that can tell me all that, that would be so useful, at least for my use case, and I can imagine a lot of agencies can really use this as well. But overall, then APU time is heading in the right direction, at least being this assistant that is trying to helping you schedule your tasks, organize them, tell you your workload so you don't work too much, and you don't plan more tasks than you have time for, and that's the most specific thing. But for the pricing of APU time, it's a bit confusing because they have separated it into workers and managers. And for five users in total, and this three users and two managers, you pay 38 US dollars. And for me, that's a fair price. It's less than $5 per user, but they should just make it into users and not pay separately for managers and for workers. It would make it so much simpler and easier to understand the pricing and just to get started with using APU time. And for 2023, they're working on a lot of interesting things. First off, an AI insight and reporting module. This will make it possible to see your own performance, how you're doing, but also for your colleagues to see what you're working on, how has your performance been on specific projects, and then find the projects that are maybe most suited for you and the way that you work. Then they are also working on some finance module to work into APU time. And then lastly, they're working on a shared buffer. So let's say that you are a team of developers and instead of having a buffer individually, then you will have one together where every time a task is putting into this bunch, then automatically APU time will figure out who has the time for this task 
and then that person will get that task. And I think that's very interesting. In the future, they could elaborate that and then based on the specific task, it would find whoever could solve it the fastest or whoever just suited the best to solve this type of task. But there's no doubt with ABU time that it's a product for teams. As an individual, the only thing you can really benefit from is the AI template creator. All of the other tools and modules will just confuse you and it will end up that you spend way more time in a project management software than you have to. So this is for teams. If you're an individual, you should definitely look somewhere else. But I want to give APU time four stars. It's really an interesting project management software and they have taken a different approach to this entire industry where we already have these big players, but they still have work to do in the workflow a little bit, but especially in the information overflow. So I spend less time looking at things that are just not relevant for me. Now, if you're a team or an individual and you want to improve your meetings by having an AI assistant helping you, then you can watch my review of Poised up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.